speakers should go ahead and pronounce the anami, the pass of uh, that bill, they will never be able to move it beyond the premises of the National Assembly. So today, when they put this uh, poster out, they called it total showdown. It is now or never. You know what I mean? If we don't actually stop it now, that's it. All the people killed, people kidnapped, are harassed, assaulted, and the rest of them, they would have all died for nothing. All of this would have been for nothing. The government didn't back down. They mobilized more soldiers, more policemen armed to the thief to face the angry citizens. And according to Kenyans, they said this is the first time in a very long time in their history that a protest like this will happen in Kenya and it will happen simultaneously, just at the same time, all over Kenya, no parts stepped away. Even those paid by government to stage the protest that they are in support, some of them had to run away when they saw the coming legion. And according to them, we don't fear what our parents feared. You either listen to us, or you have to have to give way for us. And that's exactly what is going on in Kenya as we speak. A state of emergency, national emergency has been declared by the military. Because according to them, there is a serious security problem in Kenya right now. They haven't overthrown the government yet, too, but we don't know where that is headed. Ladies and gentlemen, let us go to Kenya from midday today when things started becoming steamy. It started becoming very hot. And the politicians who were bragging, who felt protected, safe, Baba, they bled. Politicians bled. In Kenya today, few ones they were able to call, to catch, like this guy on the right, is one of the loudmouth politicians in Kenya, National Assembly member. When they found him, well, the picture tells the story. Abi, so let's go to how all of that happened from the beginning, midday today. the epicenter of uh, the demonstrations that we are seeing against it. The kind of anger we have caused in this country, I dread, God forbid, is the kind of anger that made the citizens of Burkina Faso to burn down parliament. And when the president of Burkina Faso, that was three years ago, I'm not talking about prehistory, pre when the president of Burkina Faso had the parliament is in flames, he fled. His name is Blais Kampaore. That's how he was voted out of office. By fire. He's a speaker by fire, by force.
Kamu jangan berangkat sini. Ladies and gentlemen, up in Nakuru, we are at uh, opposite status. As you can see, Nikonyuma Kidogo. And uh, what's going on? Karibu na gets pale already. There are very many citizens who wanna wanna jaribu ku access status Nakuru. Guys, it's our tax, eh? Tuna reject, tuna reject finance bill, whether they like it or not. Nairobi mo ndele ivo ivo tunasiamsha inge bunge. Up in Nakuru to kwenye status, we are almost getting in in a few. That decree and righteous decrees, sir, and that right grievousness which they have prescribed uh -huh. to turn aside the needy from judgment uh -huh. and to take away the right from the poor of my people. This word was said by Zakayo Mtoza Ushuru. Zakayo Mtoza Ushuru. Reject! 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 Reject!
speaking. That's the first part. Sorry that some of the videos are like not stable. I did my best to try to stabilize them, but that's the most I could get. Because you know they are like recorded by you know the participants who are mostly amateurs, you know, they're like amateur videos. So I have to put them together to give you that, okay? So this was them trying to, some of them were moving into the uh, parliament building, okay? Some were moving straight to the state house. And it was in that legion kind of form, that crowd, eh? when, they, when they approached the gates of the parliament, the military, the police, they were there. Snipers up there. And then, I don't know, they just felt like, oh, we can't stay here. We need to get inside. So, breaching the barrier or the blockade eh, resulted into shooting. And just about like three people were killed there. One of them was shot in the head. And people believed that it was the sniper. Another one was also shot probably in the neck or in the, in the chest, rather. Right? They said that uh, that too was probably from the sniper. They caught the sniper. One more weary. I won't show you the video because by the time they caught, by the time they found him, you don't want to see what he looked like. Eh? So let's leave that for now. But before things get that to that stage, right? Let me show you when they finally had the opportunity of gaining access into the National Assembly. They found the maze. Well, let me show you. There's no point in just telling you what you are going to see anyway. Let's go back. Go back. Go back. How can you go back? Give me a loan. I'll make it tell you. I'll make up it to you. Go back. Do the humor. Don't make me see go. See that here. See that Haja the way way. You got a Haja the root door. You got a Haja the final speed. You got a Haja the level of the I'm buying at the center. Where we're not going to put them to Haja. Where we're going to put them to Haja. Let me see them to Haja. I am fighting for my life. Just go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. 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 Somebody said they have police, uh, they have listening ears. You see, now, on a two day, you're not too easy to be convinced. Kenyan police have been killing protesters. What those, I mean, the number of people they have killed today is yet to be ascertained. They have brutalized their, come on, man. Is it because that guy, maybe see, they know see that one, like, you realize this is one die. And camera, there are cameras here more. See, let's just leave this one. Don't get deceived, though. What you are watching in Kenya, right? 
should exactly should be what should be happening in Nigeria. So lesson number lesson number two. Lesson number two so far is that the Kenyans who are buying bread at exorbitant uh, prices, who are buying petrol, who are buying food. Kenyans who knows that very soon they won't be able to afford food. They were not on social media calling on Kenyans abroad to come back home, to come and join them before they would then stand up and face the criminals that are snuffing life out of them. They did not. That's lesson number two. Again, I, I mean, I told you, there is no excuse you have in Nigeria. Everything that you are enduring in Nigeria, that you are giving excuses, I mean, excuses for in Nigeria. Economic hardship, economic this, uh, uh, insecurity, yeah, 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 right? Especially economy, economic hardship, unemployment, high taxes, corruption, wastefulness, wastages in public uh, by politicians. All of these are what the Kenyans are facing. And there are many Kenyans living abroad. You see those Kenyans you watch, you just watched now? They didn't wait and started calling on, yeah, hey, why don't you come back home? Why don't you come back home and come and join us to protest that uh, we, are, we can no longer afford food? Uh, you know, the problem is that we are too divided. See, there are some people that, you see, they love all these things I know. But do you know that that's those, those things exist in Kenya too? And a lot of the, a lot of uh, the ruling class, they are surprised. They are saying it, that um, hey, this is the first time, right? That, uh, People are actually going to come out and stand up against the system when they are not sponsored. Government blackmail them. Ah, now some politicians, they, they sponsor them. Now those ones in diaspora, they were even accusing the, the Kenyans in diaspora now. Government accused them that they were the ones who were raising money for these people to pay for hospital bills, medicals, food, drinks, and other stuff. In organizing this protest, too, and it's actually everything. It is like somebody wrote a book on how MSAS started, okay? And how it went day by day. But when it got to a stage of going after the criminals, that was when the book on MSAS finished. So Kenyans, they are now finishing the edition of that uh, supposed youth revolution. That was to start in Nigeria four years ago, but it was crushed. And then everybody just resorted back to their bigotry. They started back to their tribalism, tribalism, eh? ethnicism, and religious supremacy after that. And younger people since then, including the angry citizens of Nigeria, have not been able to find it together anymore. So Kenyans are finishing the book now. You just sit back. I have seen some of them in Nigeria saying, ah, all these ones that we are doing a protest. You are protesting. You are going to Ojota. You are going to uh, Iwurodu. You are protesting. You are going to uh, Freedom Park, Abuja. You have the three arm zone where you have the, uh, the judiciary, where you have uh, the ASO Rock, where you have the National Assembly where you can mobilize your thousands of yourselves like a legion. Go to all those state assembly, state uh, government, houses all over Nigeria, and you see how these criminals are going to run away. Unfortunately, what Nigerians thought they were, or let me say, Nigerians will think they were like the Kenyans. Uh, we did it before. No, you didn't finish it. Now, some are finishing it. That's lesson number three. Lesson number four is that in this time and moment of uh, history making or making history in Kenya, the religious body are not trying to play a scaremongering game. 
They were not asking the country to start praying instead of standing up and facing the rogues. There is nothing life out of everyone. They joined them. They encouraged the government to listen. They mobilized. They, you see, they mobilized their members to join. Not just that, they themselves were at the forefront too. I'll show you more. Let's go back to Kenya. This also happened today. We, the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops, have recently formally raised our various very serious concerns on the finance bill to the government. We appreciate that some major revisions were done to the draft bill, responding to the suggestions from the public participation, but still feel that some of our important suggestions were not addressed. We call upon the legislators to be guided by their conscience in addressing this bill and the good of the Kenyans. We emphasize that every citizen must pay taxes, but the government must not overtax. Sorry to cut you short uh, quickly. Sorry about that. Because I put all the clips together, all right? You see, the last part of this uh, video you are watching, now that clip you are, you are about to watch, right? The last part, all those uh, burning, all those uh, shaking and destruction of properties, the people actually went after the politicians that voted yes, senators, reps or so, National Assembly, members of uh, parliament that voted yes. After taking over the parliament, chasing them away, eh? some of them escaped in the expensive automobiles they bought for them with the public money. Why the people so far, they are buying themselves expensive, like Nigeria, where your lawmakers are buying uh, cars of 160 million naira. Eh? They did the same thing in Kenya. One of them escaped in, in, a, in, in nearly destroyed, well, completely right off a uh, jeep. He drove away to escape. Then they went after their properties. They know them. They know them. They know their houses. They started burning down their houses. Started burning down their business. Some of them who have accumulated wealth, stolen money through corruption, and they built themselves shopping complexes, hotels, right? Who have built this and built that. Some people, they burn everything down. I thought I should give you, I should kind of uh, let you know ahead, okay? It is a long watch. Let's continue from Kenya. The religious body are not playing holy holy. Pray for us. They are at the forefront telling themselves, Omo, listen up. We, the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops, have recently formally raised our various very serious concerns on the finance bill to the government. We appreciate that some major revisions were done to the draft bill, responding to the suggestions from the public participation, but still feel that some of our important suggestions were not addressed. We call upon the legislators to be guided by their conscience in addressing this bill and the good of the Kenyans. We emphasize that every citizen must pay taxes, but the government must not overtax its citizens. And it should not be in denial about its intended excessive taxation. The country is bleeding, and therefore, we invite the government to reflect on this matter with the seriousness it deserves. Number two. They have made it into the parliament. They have made it into the parliament. Thank you. 